Do you want a coffee? Oh yeah, lovely. Ah, right, we have a bit of a problem. Have we, we got have... some more milk, haven't we? No, there's no milk. The milk has gone. That was, oh, that was the last one. Well, we just uh, just have a normal coffee, like I do. No, no, come on, no, you know this. <laughs> I've got to have a milky coffee. Tea first thing in the morning, and then a milky coffee about now. Well, there's me... no shop. I've got to have a latte. Uh, I know. I've got a solution. You're going to love this. What? I'm not going to tell you. Then you we're going to get a coffee. Get yourself ready to go. You're going to get a coffee. Okay. Let's trust him, shall we? Okay. Here's the nudge. The nudge. Fender here. Okay, Dave, how are you feeling? Well, I'm sailing, so I'm loving life, but I still need a coffee. A milky coffee, no doubt. I could have coffee. done you a coffee. No, that was no milk. issue. It's got to be a latte. You're a proper diva. You're like a... People don't realise what I have to go through. He's like, off camera, <laughs> just a different person. Complete bloody diva. He's got a crew of about 15 people that follow him around, <laughs> mooring up for him and all yeah, that lot. Yeah. And, he, and he shouts at them if they come on camera. He's a shocker. Anyway, uh, well, let's go and get you a milky coffee. I've got a solution. You, it, well, last time you came across here, it took three hours. Yeah, well, there's not a lot of wind today. And, you know, if we're going to do a bit of sailing and I'm going to get a coffee, then this could be a very good day. Yeah. And to be honest, Robin, you've not let me down so far. I've known you now for over a year. We've sailed many miles together. You've we have. never let me down yet. Yeah. So. You are still a man of mystery to me. Am I? And in a couple of episodes back, I will point out that the Royal Navy did come up on ribs and check you out. Well, they did, yes. Yeah. Yes. Which has happened on a regular basis through our programmes. <laughs> so I'm still waiting for those checks to come back. And I, yeah, but there I'm we go. for me coffee. You're still waiting for your coffee. Well, I have a solution. Right. I have a solution. Okay. This could be the future of your coffee buying. Oh, okay. Are we still going in the right direction? Because I have no idea where we're going. Just so you just want to go to port a little bit, but you want to avoid that fish farm over okay. there. Otherwise, right. the fishermen are not going to be very happy. Okay, where are we, Dave? Well, if I'm not mistaken, it looks like we're heading into Oban. We are heading into Oban because your new home port of Dunstaffnage is just a mere sort of 20 minutes boating away around the corner and we could go and test out the transit marina at Oban and uh, and what I'm going to do for you is you're going to do the world's first yacht through Costa <laughs> it's not quite yacht through we've probably got a little walk but it is going to be a yacht through Costa now you see I knew you wouldn't let me down. So I'm going to get a Costa in a minute, am I? You are going to get your your milky coffee. Oh. Uh, obviously, the, the rest of the crew were ashore already. They've they've ordered yeah, and they've cleared yeah, the yeah. bar and yeah, made yeah, sure that yeah yeah they know they know who you are, who's coming. <laughs> <laughs> 
ready for. Uh, uh, would you like chocolate sprinkles on that, by the way? No, no, no. I just want a, a uh, latte. Okay, okay. So, uh, yeah, don't, tell them not to ruin it. So we're coming through the channel into Oban. The uh, transit marina here. You can stay for four hours, uh, and uh, Dave's coffee is going to cost at least fifteen quid, which it normally does in a coffee shop these days. But it's fifteen quid to stop for four hours in a ten metre yacht. So we're going to stop here and uh, we're going to get our coffee for the day. And this is open. Well, I'm liking this. We've done a 20 minute hop from the new marina down to Oban to get a coffee. Another tick for keeping your boat in Scotland. Look at what I've done for you. Look at that. You're a, you're a top man. Yacht through Costa. <laughs> They're quite short, aren't they? The fingers. Yeah, yeah. first Costa Yacht Through. Yacht Through, I like that. It's over there. Oh, I can see it. I can see it. There you go. It's coffee o'clock. <laughs> chocolate sprinkles for you. No, no chocolate sprinkles. Come on, Dave, it's coffee time. Coffee o'clock. So we decided to support the local independent coffee shop, Roasters, Himba, yes. and uh, it's fabulous. It's just like being back in Portugal. Passa Donato. And in there, three choices of coffee. So I'll definitely be coming back to some for the other two, but this one, I can't remember which one it was I ordered, but it is nice. So thank you very much, Robin. Okay, we've now moved over to Cronk's, uh, which is another little independent uh, takeaway, uh, breakfast spot and uh, lunch spot, which it looks fantastic and does coffee too, just over the road. And what I'm trying to do at the moment is I'm trying to convince David, who's there, to do another trekking with Dave up to the amphitheatre up at the top there. So, uh, any you know, any day you like, you could do a trekking with Dave. <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> Up to the amphitheatre and open. It's got everything for you. It's got sailing, it's got trekking, and it's got takeaway food. What more could you ask for? No, the trek I've done from the marina to the coffee shop, from the coffee shop to the sandwich bar, and then from the sandwich bar back to the boat is enough trekking with Dave for one day. <laughs> Oh, and what, what we should point out is when we actually got to the transit marina, you could just stay for an hour for uh, about about a fiver, wasn't it? Five pounds something, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, so uh, yeah. that's worked. Perfect. That worked. Yes, perfect. So we've been on shore. We've had a nice coffee, and we're having a nice panini now uh, from two different local shops. And I think just doing this today, just a half hour trip from the marina down to this transit marina in Oban that's right on the town is just superb, isn't it? Yeah, it solves can, all your challenges for uh, shopping, dinner, and for next takeaways. Time, next you, could, you could run your own delivery service <laughs> back, to, <laughs> back to Dunstaffnage. It'd have to be cold food only, I think. Well, I think so, yeah. <laughs> Especially my piloting. <laughs> This is amazing though, this is fantastic. Yeah, yeah so uh, if you've not been to the uh, Transit Marina here in Oban before, um, you can pay to come for an hour for just over a fiver. Three hours was 15 quid. Four hours. Four hours, 15 quid. And then you can stay for a maximum of three nights, but you've got to be on your boat apparently overnight. Um, I didn't see how much that was, did you? Uh, about 30, well, about three, 
three pound thirty a meter, I think oh, it okay. was. So right. about thirty quid for us. So yeah, not bad at all. Highly recommend coming here. And yeah, if you are feeling energetic, which as you know I'm not, uh, you can walk up the hill to what looked like an old Roman ruin of some description. Yeah, <laughs> it's you'll, over there. You'll look that up. <laughs> <laughs> you'll look that up. But uh, yeah, nice place to come. Fantastic. And, and, and it's just half hour from uh, from from Dun the boat's new home. Done Staffnage. Yes. And uh, there's no fuel here on the Transit Marina. There is water. There is electric. Um, but there's no fuel, so just be aware of that. Yeah. But well worth coming. Highly recommended. Right, here's a little question for you. Have you ever seen a boat with two booms? I've never seen a sail configuration like that, and look how tall that mast is. Got an American flag on the back, so he's come across the Atlantic in that. But I've never seen a mast with a boom going forward like that. If you can tell me what that is, put your comments in the box below because I've never seen a boat looking like that before. And at the same time, look at this big boy coming in here. So this yacht's called Tiga Ballas. It's a 80 foot yacht. Um, it was built in 2001 and it was out in Greece doing charters, I think. Uh, the people on it are definitely Scottish that are on it now and it's got a three and a half meter draft um, and uh, they're just mooring it up beautifully and it sounds like it's got an electric engine uh, it's it's definitely on electric motor by the sounds of it as it's coming in isn't it um, it's obviously got thrusters as well beautiful bit of kit though this is honestly once we get to two million subscribers David then, uh, <laughs> then you can upgrade <laughs> Well, as you can see, there's not a lot of wind, so we are just having a little cruising motor sail back to the marina. And uh, Robin, I've got to say thank you for sorting out my coffee. The first ever time I've gone on a sailboat for a little trip to go and get a coffee. <laughs> and it was, it was great, wasn't it? It was, yeah, superb. Absolutely brilliant. And uh, just think, if there had been milk, We'd still be sitting there, yeah. just doing nothing. Doing nothing, no. Yeah, saying there's not much wind today, what should we do? Fantastic. But yeah, not a lot of wind, so we're just chilling out going back. But um, of course, it's a bit of a milestone as well as we head back into the marina, because if you watched the earlier episode where I did the channel update, told you that we're keeping the boat in Scotland, well, we are heading home on the train tomorrow. The boat is going to be staying up here, and uh, she's going to be going on to her brand new slip for the first time when we get back to the marina. And that's where she's going to be staying for the winter. So hopefully I'll be coming back up with Robin and with family and doing loads of sailing in the winter. I don't mind the cold. I just don't want strong winds and driving rain. So as long as there's gaps in the weather, uh, we can get up here for a week or 10 days. Then there'll be uh, lots more sailing in Scotland to come over the winter period. And we were, we were looking back, weren't we, the log for last year. After you got the boat back into Conway, in September, early September, only managed to get the boat out for Just one decent sail, sail yeah. between then and December or yeah. January. So, you know, everybody will say, well, it's going to be worse up here. Well, the reality is we didn't get the boat out down there and it's much harder to get the boat out down there because of the tidal uh, situation as well. So uh, hopefully, we're hoping there will be a bit more sailing up here. Fingers crossed, watch this space. And of course, if we are sailing, you'll be coming with us. But the sailing isn't over for this part of our little trip. Let's get back into the marina and get on the dock. Our brand new berth for the first time. It's always dead exciting when you do that, I think. See if you can do it in a one. See if I can do it in a one, yeah. <laughs> and without hitting anybody else. 
because I wouldn't be getting off to a good start with my neighbours, would I, if I scratched their boat on the first attempt. <laughs> and that just about does it for Dave and Robin for today. Thanks for sticking with us until the end. Remember, if you've enjoyed this episode, hit the like button. And if you've not done so already, please subscribe. Any comments or questions, put them in the box below. We really do enjoy reading all your feedback to our videos. The more likes, subscriptions and comments this episode receives, the more likely YouTube is to recommend us to people who may not have found us yet. So you can really help the channel grow by hitting the thumb, subscription and comment buttons. Finally, if you'd like to support us financially, why not become a patron? For a small monthly fee of just £6 a month, you can support the main making a future videos. We're not asking you to fund our lifestyle, unlike some sailing channels, we're just asking for a contribution towards the cost of producing these videos. All patrons get early ad-free access to all episodes, exclusive behind the scenes video content and membership to a private WhatsApp group where you can keep in contact with us. To find out more about becoming a patron, please click the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching, until next time, take care, bye bye.